All right, first word weather now. Let's take a live look outside on this November night. Look at that. Don't we have a pretty city? Beautiful. Traffic moving freely. See our flashing lights. I like the U.S. Bank building with that blue light that uh, changes great. colors. A lot of I, fun. I wish we could see the uh, victory beam over G1C right now. Oh, I know it. But soon. Yeah. Soon. All right, so two days ago, I made a comment because Nick was allowed to stand <laughs> over here at the over desk. There. And I made a comment because mm -hmm. he's normally way over there. I said, do you have it in your contract that you don't stand near me? And he said, no. He was finally welcome back to the desk. And now you're back over there. I'm way he's over there. He's got a problem here. with that. Was it something he's I said? He's got a problem. <laughs> it's, I, was, I was really upset. <laughs> He said, I need after my space. I had, him, I had to give him a piece of gum, and then after that, I was way over here. He called We're his agent and said, <laughs> I can't deal with this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding. You know, uh, <laughs> weather wise, it's really nice, right? We've it had is. the cold mornings, but the afternoons, nice for the outdoor jog or a bike ride, low humidity, dry air, clear skies. And a lot of these temperatures that start off into the 30s, 33 degrees at Sacramento Executive this morning, we're up into the 60s today. And uh, this, the, uh, with the sunshine in place, but now the sun is down, it's dark out, and temperatures. We're on the way down. We'll be back into the 30s overnight. Look to the west, though. There are some clouds coming in just off our coastline. These will be pushing through gradually into the uh, late overnight, but more so to tomorrow. We'll have some of these clouds passing by from time to time. That will just filter out some of our sunshine. But overall, still, tomorrow, a really nice day. High pressures in control across the entire span of the coastline. So you don't see any rain, you don't see any snow at all out west, right? Uh, the storm systems are way out here, out over the uh, northern Pacific. And a lot of times, these storm systems will start pushing the way in from the west, moving east. But right now, there is a block in the middle of the atmosphere. So these storms can't flow east freely. So we call this kind of like a traffic gym, it's a blocking pattern. But this weekend, that ridge of high pressure starts to break down, and that storm track will start. Start to shift down to the south again. So by next week, a big travel week, we will likely see some increased rain chances across at least the Pacific Northwest and certainly into northern California as well. At least the far northern parts will be getting clipped by a storm system. Uh, so overall, the weekend, we still have the sunshine in place Saturday, even into Sunday. A really nice weekend setting up. There'll be a few clouds from time to time, but that's about it. Uh, temperatures staying into the 60s during the afternoon. But look what happens on Monday. Monday, the storm track starts pushing down to the south. We will see some rain coming in, especially across the, uh, uh, the uh, northern parts of the state, right into the Pacific Northwest, and clouds coming in across uh, northern California, all the way across the valley. Uh, there's some indications, though, that we may see this uh, dip further down to the south, and that would happen. We will see more snow into the higher elevations on Tuesday. So, if anybody has travel plans on Tuesday heading east over the Sierra, uh, just keep in mind that it's important to keep an eye to the forecast because we may be increasing the snow chances for the higher elevations into early next week. In the meantime, though, on Monday, much of the country is quiet for those heading out, maybe traveling. On Tuesday, we will see more of an impact across the northwest. With this upcoming storm system, the southwest, nation's midsection staying dry, and then a stalled out front across the southeastern U.S. will lead to some uh, showers and storms, but overall, no big or significant winter storm uh, going into the uh, country through the first part of this upcoming week. But Thanksgiving week's pattern does favor above average rain chances for much of the northwest. All right, temperature wise, we're into lower 60s. We've already dropped a few degrees from the high temperature uh, earlier today, but with the light winds, clear skies in place, it's a great recipe for those temperatures to free fall back into the 30s. And that's where we will be first thing in the morning. Uh, temperatures in the Sierra will be down to the teens once again for tonight. So this is the pattern that we have been in throughout much of this week and that we'll continue to be in through the remainder of this week where the mornings are cold, but the afternoons are pretty close to where we should be this time of year. Average high this time of year in the city is about 65 degrees, so not too far from that. And we'll be into the 30s in the Sierra again for tomorrow with afternoon sunshine. So here's the forecast for the week ahead. This is for the valley. Temperatures staying into the 60s pretty much each day. Mornings stay cold, but lows into the 30s. But then you see on Tuesday, we are keeping that rain chance into the forecast, but certainly a lot to pin down on that. So keep an eye on the updated forecast uh, with that. So overall, between now and the weekend, staying quiet. Curtis? All right, I want to formally invite you back to the desk tomorrow. So <laughs> I will love that. 5 45, 5 15, please yeah. come back to the desk. 10 p.m., I'll be right there too. <laughs> All right, good. thank you, Nick. Yep.